Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I want to show you how you can save your element of form submissions that you collect from your users to your database. Usually you'd integrate these with one of the marketing services. So in your element of form section, there is something called actions after submit. And here you can pick where you want to send that particular form data. But there is no option to save it to database and that can easily be done by using two free plugins. I will show you both and how they work in this video. Let's get into it. We still didn't discuss Elementor Forms. I will show you some of the coolest things and the unique things that you can do with Elementor Forms using a little bit of CSS and JavaScript in Elementor Basics playlist. A video on Elementor Forms is coming soon. Stay tuned for that. In this video, I just created a new page that has a simple Elementor Form. So it has three fields. The first one is a name field, the second one is an email field and the third one is a message field and then there is a send button, right? So the first plugin that you need to install for this is called Linux Elementor. I'll leave a link to this in the description or you can type Linux Elementor in the WordPress repository and this one, it has over 10,000 installs and it works flawlessly. I've tested this out. So you can simply click on install and activate it and once you install and activate it, it does magic. You don't have to do anything fancy. In your dashboard, once you install it, there is now a field called Elementor Leads. So when you click on that, it will start scanning for all the Elementor forms on my website. As you can see here, it's showing me that I have a form at this particular location and it's a single type of form and there are zero leads for this. And it also shows me the email recipients. So if I enter any email action in it, it will also show the email address specified there. And if I have an action for it, such as redirecting the form, which I'll show you in a bit. So if I have any actions other than email specified, it'll also show those actions here. And I didn't even create this form. It was part of a template, but still this plugin will just scan the templates. So it's available as Elementor leads here. And here it's showing me there's another form. And when you click on it, it'll let you view the page so that you can see if the form is present or not. And this is the new form that we just created at this contact us page and it's a single and we have zero leads. Let's enter some dummy leads for our form. So I'll just go to the front end of the form. I'll just click on preview for this and it will be taken to this particular preview. Let's enter a few leads me at the rate me.com first lead. Let's enter another lead. I'm just entering some dummy data. It doesn't matter. Let's enter one more. So I just entered three leads. I'm just doing it just to show you generally your users would enter these leads and now you can click on Elementor leads or refresh the page and you can now see that there are three leads for this particular form on this particular page. You can click on see as WordPress list so it will show you all the leads. You can all view each one of them or you can simply delete them or you can edit them if you want. I can simply click on this. I can also change the name to something else. Maybe if it's something important, I can just rename it to support query just like that. And I can click on update. I can go back to my elemental leads by clicking on this. I'll click on see as WordPress lists again. Now you see that it's renamed as support query. So here's the data that I have from that particular lead. And you can also export all the leads that you get in CSV format. So this is basically uh, a comma separated value. It stands for comma separate value. So when you click on it, it, this file is readable by your Excel or your Google Sheets or even numbers if you have a Mac. As you can see, I just opened it in numbers app and it shows me all the data of that particular lead. So all the data is exported as a CSV. This is highly useful when you're doing a regular backup of your website. So if you're backing up your website on a daily basis, all these database entries or all these leads are also backed up. So that's a cool way to preserve your leads and make sure that you don't lose your customer data. So this is method one and the plugin is called Linux leads. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Let's get into method two. Now before moving to method two, I just created a thank you page. As you can see here, all it says is form submitted. Thank you. And this will let the user know that the form is submitted and he doesn't have to enter the form details again. This is a nice way of enhancing user experience. But remember, this will take additional load on your server. Obviously, when he submits the form, it's clearly shown here. You can see that here, but redirecting him to this thank you page will just enhance the user experience. 
So I just created a thank you page and it just says form submitted. Thank you. So I'll just go to this contact us page and actions after submit. I'll also redirect and in redirect, I'll just paste the uh, link of this thank you page or the URL of the thank you page. It's this one. I'll take this URL. I'll just paste it. I'll remove the forward slash paste it. Now let's try this dummy entry again. So my page reloads. So some dummy data. I just sent it. It tells that form was successfully sent and it's redirected to a thank you page. This is a cool way to prevent cross entries in your form and also to enhance user experience. But do note that it will take additional load on your server. Just bear that in mind. Let's get into method two of doing the same, which is saving contact form submissions in database. Now the second plugin that you want to use is called Elementor Contact Form DB. Just search for Elementor Contact Form DB and it's this one, install and activate it. Even this one works really great. So once you install and activate it, there's a dashboard entry for Elementor DB. So you can click on it and I have actually uh, removed all the previous submissions. Let's go ahead and submit one more data dummy data and both method one and method two work automatically when you click on send. So if the submission is made, the lead will be saved to your database automatically. There's no configuration to be made. So within this, you can even remove this action. You can simply keep redirect and that's all you need to have. You can simply redirect the user and the database entry will automatically be saved when the user clicks proper data and clicks on send. So this process is continuously automatic. There's no configuration. Install the plugin and configure it on your form. I mean, just wait and watch and all the entries are collected automatically in the back end. As of now, we don't have any uh, data here. I'll just enter some data. I'll click on send. Again, the same thing happens here. We're just redirecting it. We redirected it to a new page like we did earlier. We didn't change anything else. You can simply refresh the backend. It shows that I have 100 contact form submission. I've already come to this. You can simply click to directly read it or open this particular tab. I'll just click on view submission. And here it has all the details. So it shows the form data, name, email, message, date of submission. And it also shows me that it's first read by admin, which is me. I've read this form. If anyone else with any proper privilege read this form, it will show that it's first read by that particular person. It also shows that it's submitted on this particular page and it's submitted by with me, right? I just submitted it in front of you. If it's submitted by anyone else, any logged in user, it will show his user ID, but it doesn't since it's me who submitted it. It will just show me. And this is available to your users front end and they need not even be logged within and it will show all the details that you get. And both the methods are flawless. There's no configuration to be made. You just install either of the plugin. Don't use both of them because both of them will be working on the same data and they might mess up your data or your leads. So don't install both of them. Install either this one or the previous one and they'll work just great. You can also reply to email. So here he has an email field. When I click on reply to email, it will pop pre-populate that particular email for me and it will open up my email provider, which is my mail app. So based on the fields that are there in this, you'll have the actions so you can reply to email. And there's another option called copy to another post type. I'll just click on this and you can copy the form data to one of your post types. So here are the post types that I have post pages and some custom post types. I'll choose post and the post name can be one of the submitted data, which is title. So this becomes my post title and email becomes my content. So whatever email I get within this form will be my content and message can also be uh, content. You can also keep the original date of submission. I'll click on clone. So it cloned that particular submission. All posts again you can simply preview this how it looks like. And the title is the name. And the content is also the name. So that's how it clones based on what you choose. 
and there's one more option that I need to show you so when you click on Elementor DB when you click on export it will ask you to either export by the page submitted so we need to export all the entries that we got on this particular page you can select any of the pages that have contact forms so all those will show up here or all the entries all the pages that have actually form entries or form submissions will show up here you can choose either of them and export form and there is an additional option to export by form id so so you can go to export tab where you can see all the data submitted either by the page submitted or by the form id there are different ids for different forms so i'll just choose the page submitted and i'll click on export form it will show me some preview i don't have to understand this preview these are basically entries that you would see when you export the csv file again this is exported as csv since csv is an open source format and it's readable by all major software such as excel google sheets or even um, or even numbers by apple so we'll just click on download csv again we get a csv if you open that same thing all the form submissions are here that's how you use these two plugins use either of them collect leads and this is highly helpful for saving and collecting valuable leads from your customers that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it also i'll talk to you in the next video peace